Hello everyone, my name is Heather and welcome to the channel Bookables. Today I'm going to be blah blah blah. <laughs> I'm going to be doing another installment of recent reads where I talk about three books that I've read recently with you what they are about what I liked about them what I disliked about them and what I rated them so three books I'm talking about today are all in the romance genre because you know how much I love the romance genre the three books I'm talking about today are The Bodyguard by Katherine Center, Bet on It by Jodie Slaughter and My Killer Vacation by Tessa Bailey if you're looking to hear about one particular book as always timestamps will be down below Let's get into it. The first book is The Bodyguard by Catherine Center. This is her newest release. This comes out in July. I have read like four or five Catherine Center books before and they're okay. I wouldn't say they're like overly romancy. I would say they're probably like women's fiction slash romance. Um, I enjoy them. They're not, I've read one of hers that I've loved and the rest I've enjoyed. So The Bodyguard's kind of in that same kind of vein where I liked it. I didn't love it. It was kind of like a middle of the road book for me. It follows a character named Hannah who is like a bodyguard. She is like not just any bodyguard. Like she is very stealthy like you know um they don't get hired for typical celebrities they get um um, hired from like oil execs just you know they see threats before they're coming like she can kill someone with a pen like she is very very like she can fly a helicopter in the moment's notice like she is an intense bodyguard and she works for this company and they get hired to um, protect Jack Stapleton who's this really big actor and basically he's really not happy that he has a bodyguard he's back home in Texas because his mother has cancer and so Hannah is assigned to him and they actually have to fake you know he doesn't want his parents to know that he's has a bodyguard so he's like just be my pretend girlfriend you know and also my bodyguard <laughs> so you can guess where the plot is going and overall it was okay I would give it a three and a half out of five it was cute um I enjoyed the romance between Hannah and Jack um Hannah's ex was just horrible the one thing I really wish this book would have touched on more was Hannah's career they talked a lot about the logistics of it but I was like I want to see more of Hannah's like badness like I want to see her be awesome like there was a couple of times where she used her strength but I was like I wanted to see more of it Hannah just reminded me a lot of like Buffy if Buffy would be your bodyguard which that would be amazing but I wanted to see mo more I wanted to see her be more like Buffy like have instances where you know she could take down somebody or she could fly a helicopter like I wanted to see that um so overall it was cute it wasn't like overly amazing there was a lot of family dynamics with Jacks in particular because he has a very strained relationship with his brother um his older brother because his younger brother has passed away and his parents his mom, like I said his mom has cancer so that whole thing and it's about Hannah kind of being in the fold with that because in the beginning of this book Hannah's mother passes away and it's just interesting in that regard I really did enjoy the family dynamics of the book the relationship between Hannah and Jack it was okay it wasn't like overly amazing they're not like one of my new favorite couples but it was you know it was okay I would say I'd recommend this if you just like want a quick fast romance read if you're looking for something overly steamy this is not it if you're looking for something that's overly romantic this is kind of not it it's kind of like a mixture between romance with some family dynamics you know with an amazing bodyguard that I wish she could I could see her do more bodyguarding is that the right you know what I'm saying but either way I give three and a half out of five it was okay. Moving on to Bet on It by Jodie Slaughter. Again, this one comes out in July, and this one takes place um, in a small town called Greenbelt in South Carolina. And in this book, we follow two characters. We follow Aja and we follow Walker. In the very beginning of this book, Aja, hopefully I'm pronouncing her name correctly, is having a panic attack at the local Piggly Wiggly, and she is, you know, really torn on what to do. And then she meets Walker, who kind of helps her through the panic attack, and you think that's it. They're never going to see each other again. That is until Aja goes to bingo the next night because she likes playing bingo and her like only friend there who's like an older lady's like oh I injured both my arms so my grandson's here to help me and who should that be but Walker and so basically this whole book is about them becoming friends while also having this like sex pack with bingo if that sounds odd it's because it kind of is so they decide to like whoever wins bingo they can you know <laughs> I don't know I found that kind of weird but also interesting I guess I don't know overall 
I wanted to like this book a lot more. Both Aja and Walker are very interesting characters that have a lot of dynamic to them. They both suffer from panic attacks and Walker in particular PTSD because of things that happen to him in Greenbelt because the only reason he's in there is to help his grandmother. He had a very tumultuous time growing up there. His Both his parents were um, drug addicts and the town talked a lot about him so he just loathes everyone there. So him and Aja kind of form this bond because they both have um mental illness that they struggle with and they also you know have this bingo thing going on and it was okay I just didn't love it as much as I wanted to I gave it a three stars I think it's a solid romance read and I would recommend it especially if you want something steamy this has got you covered for sure but other than that like I like the steamy parts um but I also didn't love the romance I didn't really find it very feasible like it felt like very just like like as soon as they saw each other they were like that's it and I was like okay um, so I didn't love it it didn't feel as organic as I wanted it to be um, and also I did enjoy the both they, they talked very openly and freely about mental illness they both talked about their struggles with it how they you know Aja in particular has a hard time meeting friends and she wants to meet friends and Walker has a lot of PTSD I did enjoy that um, but that's kind of like I think it's just a solid romance read it's just kind of like right in the middle for for me. This book kind of remind me of like Ta a Talia Hibbert book, which I love Talia Hibbert books, but I will say with Talia Hibbert's books, I like the characters more. I feel like there's a little bit more to grasp onto. Um, but overall, like it's a solid one. I wouldn't like say don't read it by any means. I liked it. I give it a three out of five. The last book I'm talking about is Tessa Bailey's newest release, and that is My Killer Vacation. So this one is kind of like a summer romance mixed in with a murder mystery. So in case you love reading both of those genres in the summertime, she's got you covered. So in this book, we also follow two characters. We follow Miles and Taylor. So at the very beginning of this book, Taylor is a second grade teacher. She is taking a vacation in like the Cape Cod area with her brother. Um, and they go to like this Airbnb. And when she's get there, it's like this beautiful, gorgeous mansion that she has saved up for a lot. She's like, I want this vacation. Is if you're a teacher, you more than deserve it. And so she goes to take a bath and she notices there's like some peepholes in the ceiling. And she's like, oh no and then she knows there's more in the bedroom and so she her brother who is with her on this vacation they're like oh, this is not okay and somehow they go in the laundry room and there's a dead body here the guy that owned the house and so she's like crap <laughs> The police get involved and also this guy named Miles who is a bounty hunter. He is kind of doing the investigation because the the dead guy that they find sister hires him pretty much to this investigation. So Taylor has decided that she's not going to be like, she's never been brave and things like that. She's like, I'm going to be in part of this investigation. So she kind of just attaches herself to Miles and they just kind of solve the case while also have a lot of steamy times with it. And that's quintessentially the point. Book. Again, another three star for me. That's kind of the standard Tessa Bailey reading for me, honestly. Um, I enjoy her books. I don't overly love them. There's been a couple of hers that I have really, really liked. But overall, with Tessa Bailey books, I'd say if you're just looking for a fun, steamy summertime book, Tessa Bailey books are great for that because the steamy times are there galore. Again, like the last book I talked about, the relationship in this book was kind of like instantaneous. Like they, as soon as they saw each other, they were like, I'm so in love with you. I'm attracted to you. But of course, Miles was fighting it because of what happened to him in the past. Taylor is also like, I don't know, like for the whole amount of vacation that they went on, Taylor didn't do a lot of vacationing. Like she was just mostly involved in this case. And I'm like, vacation, like, I would just leave that town and go somewhere else to vacation because I'd be like, I need this vacation. So I don't know. Like, I think they went snorkel diving once and that was like the only vacation thing they did. And they went to get ice cream. I'm like, what, what are you doing? Are you just sitting at home the whole time? But then again, that sounds like a dream vacation for me if you have children, just quietness. So, I mean, I can't fault her for that. She's a second grade teacher, so she's probably just like, quietness is gold. <laughs> So again, like I said, a three out of five. It was okay. Did I think the murder mystery element added to the story? Not really. It wasn't like overly murder mystery. It was just kind of okay. Again, this is just if you want a quick summer steamy read. There you go, three out of five. So there you have my thoughts and feelings on these three books. It's a short and sweet video because there wasn't a lot to unpack 
unpack with all of these books. I like them all. They were all solid reads. There wasn't one in particular that I talked about today that I just overly love or I overly disliked. They're just kind of all right in the middle for me, which is fine. Middle of the road for me is just kind of a solid read. It means I enjoyed it. Doesn't mean I loved it. Doesn't mean I loved it. It's just right there smack dab in the middle. So I would love to hear your thoughts if you've read any of these, if you're interested in any of them, if I made you interested in them, or if I didn't, I would love to know. <laughs> As always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.